Free available chlorine, or PPM of FAC, is a direct measurement of the efficacy level in pathocyte. This is a measurement of hypochlorous acid in solution. You'll need to check the PPM of FAC daily or several times a week to make sure your levels are within range. The acceptable range is above 165 ppm and preferably close to 200 ppm for solutions to be optimally effective. PathoClean does not need to be checked for FAC. It's important to record the FAC levels on your daily log sheet, which can be used to discover unfavorable trends and help you determine when service technicians' help may be necessary. Using a clean cup, rinsed with pathocide, dispense a small amount of pathocide into the cup and set aside. We will use this for testing. This is the HI771 FAC meter. From the cup, carefully pour pathocide into one of the clear glass tubes to the 10 milliliter line. Seal with a lid and wipe the outside if needed with a dry cloth. Turn the meter on with one push of the black button. The display will say, add C1, and this is prompting you to zero the device. Open the lid of the meter and carefully drop the full glass vial into the channel. Close the lid and press the black button. This time, the screen will display three dashes. Once it clears and displays, add C2, the device has been zeroed with the clear pathocide, and we are ready for the next step. These are the reagent A and reagent B packages. Tap or lightly shake the powder in each package into one corner as much as possible. Carefully tear or cut open each package along the dotted line. Pour the packet of reagent A carefully into the vial of pathocyte. Then pour the reagent B carefully into the vial and replace the cap. Gently swirl until dissolved. The solution in the vial should be golden brown in color. Be sure to avoid air bubbles from shaking too vigorously. Open the meter and place the vial into the channel again. Close the lid, press and hold the black button, continuing to hold the button until a one minute countdown is displayed. Release the button and wait for the countdown to complete and a final reading to be displayed. Document this number on your daily log sheet. This is the PPM of FAC of your pathocyte solution. Remember, the acceptable range of FAC for pathocyte is above 165 ppm, preferably 200 or above. Note, when you are testing solutions, pH or FAC is very important to wait 30 minutes after regeneration or brine tank flushing to test the solutions to ensure accuracy of your readings.